the original phonographs were cylinder. So they did not have a disc that played. It was a cylinder that looked kind of like a player piano and a needle scraped the cylinder and it produced sounds. That was the Edison phonograph. Uh, when Berliner created the gramophone, it went to a shellac disc. That shellac eventually became known as vinyl. Um, but those original sizes were called 78 RPMs. So that's how fast the disc moved um, to go around. Those 78 RPMs were there from the first Berliner gramophone to uh, really the 1950s. In the 1950s, two new record formats came on the scene. Um, one is the 45 RPM and the other one is the 33 and a third. The 33 and a third is what we typically think of today as quote unquote vinyl. Um, the 33 and a third is a longer record. It stores more information per side. The 78 RPMs can only store about two and a half to three minutes on a side. And there's an interesting thing that's ended up happening with the music industry and the kind of terminology that we use and how we think about music. So when it was a 78 RPM, only two and a half to three minutes of music could be recorded. Well, if you had an hour long orchestral piece, a symphony or something, you couldn't record that on uh, a 78 RPM. So there was a lot of conflict at the time because this was having an impact on the kind of music that could be recorded. And it, by impacting the kind of music that could be recorded, it impacted the kind of music that people wrote. So all of a sudden you start getting the popular music form that is two and a half to three minutes. And that two and a half to three minutes is called a side. And a side is in industry terminology equivalent to a song. So when an artist signs a record contract, it says that they need to deliver, i.e. record, so many sides, i.e. songs. Um, so that still has this kind of lineage, lineage. And while on digital music, we could have weeks or years long songs produced, there's still the general format for a popular song is two and a half to three minutes.